Hello! Welcome back to Read Aloud EDU. Thank you for reading! We are on Richard Scarry's Best Little Golden Books Ever. And the story we are starting today is The Fox and the Crow, page 155. Wait a minute. Where is it? I went too far. Right there. The Fox and the Crow. A crow sat in a high tree holding a tasty bit of cheese in her mouth. Mmm. Along came a hungry warthog. The crow will laugh when she sees my funny face, he said, and when she laughs, she'll drop the cheese. He called to the crow, making a funny face, but the crow did not even smile. She was enjoying her little game. His trick didn't work. She didn't drop the cheese. Along came a hungry tiger. Fly down to me, crow, coaxed the tiger sweetly. Place that cheese on my nose and I'll show you a clever trick. But the crow did not move. She did not trust that tiger. She's holding on to that cheese. Along came a hungry little elephant. Drop the cheese to me, crow, said the elephant, or I will give you a shower bath. Whoa, but the crow did not drop the cheese, even though whoosh, the elephant's trunk sent up a stream of water. <laughs> Watch out! Drop the cheese to me, you ugly old bird, called a big brown bear, and you may have this honey from the bee. But the crow did not like honey, and she did not drop the cheese. That wasn't very nice, Bear, calling the crow a name. The crow was about to eat the cheese when along came a cunning little fox. Oh, beautiful crow, he called. You are lovely to see. A bird with such charming feathers must sing a pretty tune. Please sing for me. Oh, that tricky fox. If she sings, will she drop the cheese? They're waiting to see what's gonna happen. Now, the crow had never been told she was pretty, although she thought she was, and she had never been told that her voice was pretty. She opened her beak and rasped an unpleasant caw. Down tumbled the cheese into the fox's mouth. Now, wasn't she a silly bird to let that sweet talk fool her? She did sing a song. The fox got the cheese. <laughs> the end. Thank you for reading. I'll see you next time. We're going to read The Dog and His Bone. Don't forget to subscribe.